All right, welcome back. It's the Fight Before Christmas, game number two in the North American group of the Losers Bracket, the Losers Match. Spawning here in the top left corner of the map, down one in the series. It's the Pink Zerg player, Acer Scarlet. In the bottom right of the Orange Zerg, it's complexities, move skills. Man, it's uh, it's weird to consider Muscles being up 1-0 like this, but I guess there's a lot of other things to consider going into this series. Uh, Scarlet, for example, playing and invited to the SWAT TV uh, Star League. I'm not surprised if she's probably holding back just a little bit in this tournament, uh, as there's a much larger prize pool with a lot more grandiose exposure over there. Uh, on the other hand, though, I think someone in chat was like, well, she got her wisdom teeth out recently. I think that was like last week or something. I don't know how long it takes uh, to recover from that, but... I'm pretty sure it was much longer ago than that. Because she was like still in pain, maybe like a week ago, but that was like a, um, that was <laughs> that was longer than anticipated pain. So it 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 should be over with by now. Yeah, well, I, I was just saying, like, there's a lot of things that have actually been going on for Scarlet. It's not just uh, your average day of sitting down to play StarCraft, is all. I'm not trying to give excuses or anything like that for losing. I'm just trying to explain, like, there is actually quite a bit going on uh, in the life of this. Very famous Zerg player from Acer. Sure. She actually did an interview recently on Team Liquid. For Team Liquid? I'm not sure. Anyways, you can search it on Team Liquid. It was done like two days ago. She actually had some pretty interesting, I guess, uh, things to say. Like, she talked about that loss against Hendrilis, I know you brought up earlier. She talked about whether she plays better with or without pressure. Just stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you can glimpse anything into that. So you guys go read it, but it was oh. cool reading. I didn't know about it. That's cool. I'll have to go look that up after we're done casting today. I love reading player interviews because, I don't know, I, I feel sometimes you get really bland responses, but there's always, like, a good a good answer to that gives you, like, better insight to, like, who they are. <laughs> it was, like, a very casual interview, which, is what, which seems to be, the, like, mostly the one, only ones that she does, but, like, she was, like, ready to play Dota, and they were, like, asking her questions. <laughs> so she, like, they included, like, all the, like, ellipses and stuff. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I love uh, all Hot Bids interviews. Those are always fun to watch. But okay, uh, as far as this one's set up, no cheese, no early pulls, pretty standard stuff so far, and as we saw already once a day, if you give Scarlet the opportunity to play standard, she's probably going to whoop you. Um, now, I'm not saying she'll do Mutalist into Broodlords yet again, but it's just the fact that she's got a build like that up her sleeve, it's scary, and uh, you always want to be a little bit careful as uh, as someone like Moose Gills. Mm. Last, you can't really look too much in the last game, because it was just about like the Queen, like the Injects. Um, I think that's really, yeah, that's, that's where it really started to fall apart. Yeah, I think she has like 800, 700 of the bank or something, so like pretty extreme. That is definitely enough roaches to hold on and continue the game. And I, like, I guess we've seen so many ZVZs that we kind of assume that was the case. So when I looked down, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, you seem to ZVZ in that situation, just keep on going. Roach versus roach. Yeah, there's not, the there's, there's not many situations where you are so pressured to keep a queen over at your third because of the impending roach fight that... Maybe it's it's three, two injects at first and three, then four, and all of a sudden you're like so many rounds behind what you should have been doing. Yeah. We do have an attack from Moose Skills and a teching from Scarlet, though. This isn't, it's, he's not breaking on the back rock, oh, she... which is super cool to do on this map, but it's still a lot of lanes coming very quickly. And does she, oh, she has, that could actually, that overload could be like run around. Uh, very potentially, I was going to say, this lane that was there was kind of poking around and looked like it was going to get uh, that perfect scout, but for Scarlet's sake, I mean, this is really reminding <laughs> me what happened versus Kane. Uh, Bailey Ness is going to come down, though, and if she gets that full wall, and, like, she sees this soon enough, there we go, the Overlord should see okay. the speed as well. Uh, more Evo Chamber is going to be absolutely necessary in this situation. Has to plug this back wall, too. Can't forget about this opening by the Evolution Chamber. Or by the Wait. Extractor, sorry. A queen goes in there. Oh, she needs just oh my god, she's by a lot of time. It's it's a potential that the Baneliness could be actually be torn down as well, and I, I don't know if that would have been worth it. But he's just gonna try and tear down this now here with Lings. It actually works. Follow up wall. Follow up wall. She's gotta get something else behind this queen. Uh, all sorts of messy coming down here. Baneling's gonna follow suit. They're gonna just plug right through this hole. There's so many Zerglings here to deal with, but the Baneling's if they get wasted in the buildings and the Baneling's go off of the Queens, Scarlet's own Zerglings might actually find an avenue to fight. Ooh, ooh the Spine Caller gets surrounded. She needed another one in there. Oh, that's probably it. I don't know. There's, uh, what does she have? She has slow Lings on the way. Oh, no, they're slow Lings. But she, <laughs> they're coming out piece by piece. The Baneling's did survive. She gets a couple of Banelings in. She starts sneaking off some drones. Two Banelings from Moose Kills coming in the natural. Gotta be careful with their own drones. Uh, 
she's stacking up all over the place, and the more she stacks, the scarier it gets, because here comes the two bailings for Scarlet's drones. She turns around immediately. One decent bailing connect goes off, but the other one a little bit wasted, still not splitting. Oh, takes a big hit on those drones. 20 workers down, and I think Moose Gills... Oh my goodness, he's he's on the verge of doing it. GG, GG. Moose Gills will knock Scarlet out of the tournament. What? What?